heal the pirates if you want to. That's a thing you could do. Well, first things first, I don't know Ode is still alive. Right, so, so you rush in and you're like, yeah, and then the, the officer is like, oh, don't worry, I got him. He's okay. Smoking hole in my chest. Is he, <laughs> is he conscious? No, he's definitely out. I'm just laying there and I'm like, get oh. him. Oh. <laughs> is, so, blap, yeah. blap, scrubs. Yeah. So, so my my magic ability is basically the same thing as a Lazarus patch. Yes. So I'm re I'm completely useless. <laughs> no, you just don't have to have a Lazarus patch or roll. make a heal check. Oh, uh, okay. you can fail, and if you keep failing, it gets harder, and you can die. Oh, at least you did in the old version. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, I look in this version. I, I walk into the room, see that he's fine, and then I just I, look disapprovingly at both of them, and then walk out. I was the scrub all along. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so, I mean, Dylan, do you attempt to, like, start healing these people? Do you tell the medical officers to start healing these people? Like, what, is there any attempt to to, to heal these uh, pirates before they, like, I guess it's just the person in front of you, right? Because the, the other two yeah. were taken out with stun Star Michael, mm -hmm. so. Does that happen? Or? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I don't have a Lazarus patch, but. You don't have to, actually. It okay. says that you can. The difficulty is 10 plus the amount of rounds they've been unconscious if you don't have medical equipment. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can Which just do it, but it's... It has been yeah. some time. Um, so roll <laughs> plus your intelligence or your dexterity, whichever is higher. Whichever you would like to use. Okay. Although your and guys only been down one round, if any. Yeah, difficulty 10. Ooh. Oops. Um, so that doesn't, like, mean he dies right away, right? So, yeah, it gets a, there's another minus one penalty applied to the skill check. So you can just keep doing it for five more rounds if you want to. Uh, but it gets harder. So now this is a de it's, it's, it's 11 difficulty. So this is literally Dylan, like, just, like, kneeling on the ground, frantically trying to save this person's yeah. life, right? <laughs> After you've stabbed them in the chest. Well, no, I missed, right? Well, it's the thing. You missed, but you missed because it would have deflected off their armor. But you uh, killed them with that damage. Okay. And so, like, oh. <laughs> you stabbed them. I think you tried to stab the shoulder and you ended up stabbing him in the chest. Oh, great. This is that scene that, like, <laughs> that's <laughs> sci-fi where your sword goes straight through their armor because it's yeah. sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's no, a monoblade. It's, like, super sharp. Exactly. She could have totally just killed them through a... Uh, um... A stab through the shoulder, cut an artery, and then it's just gone. Like there's right. He said that because of the roll. Her attack wasn't high enough to hit his AC. Yeah, I but the shock damage was enough to kill him. Yeah, I mean, electricity can. Uh, is it like shock as uh, an electricity shock? No, shock no. is like the shock yeah. of fighting. Like uh, oh well, it's, yeah. This makes a whole. This game makes a whole lot more sense to me now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, Dylan doesn't like, have an electric sword. Welcome to the future. I was like, oh, shock. There must be electricity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. I mean that's it that's a not. fair assumption. That is that is what we thought at first too. Yes, <laughs> electric monoblade. Yeah. So, it's Dylan, so are fun. you gonna attempt that again, or are you gonna try to like call someone over to help you, or what? Yeah. And you failed. Okay. Uh, so oh, now it's no. difficulty twelve. <laughs> Maybe one of the doctors should try and help you. <laughs> yeah, I think There's after three. desperate attempts, I yeah. I yell for one of the. Like, like seriously, this is people. such a good scene because it's literally Dylan just <laughs> desperately trying to save this man's life, and her the, the guy's blood is all over her her like hands. Like, yeah, it's it's yeah. bad time. Yeah, and I think yeah, this person comes over and and does a Lazarus patch, um, and fails. Oh no, because it's oh no what uh no yeah because this would be difficulty nine because it's been so long. Um, so she yeah she also fails to save this guy's life. Um, and she, but she used a Lazarus Wait, patch. Did you have a Lazarus patch? Yeah, she did. Does that the same have the same thing? No, it doesn't. But there's still the minus one penalty applied. So her roll would have been six, uh, but yep, plus three. Right. And so now she's she's gonna try it again. Um, uh, and this is difficulty ten. There you go. Okay. So oh. when that was, <laughs> we I mean, I don't know why. <sighs> this doesn't close. matter. They're all just gonna get executed by everyone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, this, this guy was really close to dying, <laughs> and this this um, this lady managed just to save. Uh, Fergus, save. get off the ceiling. Actually, I think this is this is a guy. Couch. <laughs> I think this medical you officer is a guy. You're upside down. Um, and <laughs> right, you're hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, and so this guy like looks at you, uh, Dylan, and he he says. Thank you. Wait, he's... Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I changed the gender, because I, I realized... I don't know, I just decided... Yeah, I thought you meant the pirate. I was like, he's awake already. No. Nice, go yeah, so, so the, yeah, the medical officer looks, <laughs> at you, looks at you, Dylan, and says, thank you. And she just says, um... I did the only thing I could do. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think we we probably like fade out of the scene from there, right? And then and then we go into the epilogue. Um, so what's? I I think the next scene we get is you guys like talking like. Uh, the the Void's Grace is like docked again um, on the SNX Karnak, um, and you guys are kind of like talking in this room um, in the uh, in the cafe over here um, as to like what's happening next. Um, so you have a couple of the people who kind of like fell. Um, yeah, all three of the pirates, right, are still, still fine. Um, Do we have them detained in another room? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, everybody's kind of like in the same place. Uh, yeah. And what's the conversation happening? Um, I think Chloe has just come to. Um, My conscious, by the way. Yep, you're conscious. You're at one hit point, then. Right, I think we skipped enough time for... everybody. Everybody's conscious again. It's been a couple hours. Um, and yeah, you guys have to have the, the pirates detained in another room. And, Is this a uh, pirate? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's the other pirate we had before. Connor's hostage. Yep. Oh, yeah. So you have four <laughs> pirates that remain. Um, hey, what do you mean hostage? Dead men walking, more like... <laughs> So yeah, what, what's the plan? What are you guys talk about? <laughs> well, oh well, we saved three pirates for the sake of one hostage. Good job, guys. He, Alpha, Alphonse, not Alphonse. Fergus is a little bitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chloe looks over at you and she says, "We did the best that we could." She looks around and says, "Thank this you all." Okay? Who? Sorry, there's another person down at the bottom of the ship, and I wasn't sure if they were Yeah, doing we it. left her there. Oh no, she's she's fine too. Abandoned. She fell on her face and is still laying there trying to recover her dignity. <laughs> right. <laughs> she's like, wait, I got this. I can do it. <laughs> uh, they're not standing on the cafe. Yeah, so like Isaac is like, you know, leaned up against the, the side. Um, uh, of the of the wall, and uh, Chloe's kind of like clutching her her chest, um, sitting on one of the couches. Um, Nicole's looking like tending to her. The other crew members are are, are kind of like milling about, um, getting. I think they're they're packing up all the um the medical supplies right that they could scavenge from the ship. Um, and they've they've packed most of it into the boys' grace already. Um, if think... it's been hours, Till's got a craft full of coffee for everybody. Awesome, yeah. So yes, <laughs> bring a coffee to everybody. Um, yeah, so you give yeah. one to, you give one, to, yeah, <laughs> you know, we get a, we get a small, a really, um, low-key instrumental version of caffeine playing right now, um, yes. right, on, in the, on the underscore, <laughs> um, in the, yes. and, uh, uh, you give, uh, a coffee to Chloe, Till, and, uh, she kind of, like, kind of cheers to you kind of a thing, and, uh, takes a sip, and she says, thank you again, Captain, um, I'm not sure what we would have done if you hadn't come along. Till just nods. He's distant. He's take. Yeah, he... he's definitely shell shocked, <laughs> along with others. Yep. Maybe not. Maybe not as intense as some of the others, but <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> so so everybody else right I mean, there, yeah, there's just like this assi- awkward silence and then evelyn just out of nowhere just says oh my gosh i'm doing fine <laughs> <laughs> uh, i get i give her a thumbs up well we know the psychopath and the sociopath now i mean yeah 
a theory theory is beginning to develop psychics are sociopaths i am not a sociopath i wanted i wanted with from the deepest part of my heart to save all of those hostages and kill all of the pirates <laughs> jared you're a sociopath right like in real life so do you no. know about those kinds of things like saving people's lives and whatnot uh... <laughs> In that? real life, I, I in real life I would have killed every single one of them to, to save the hostages. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. just check it. I'm like I'm like John Wayne Cleaver. <laughs> Please save every John Wayne Cleaver. <laughs> Dude, he's the hero that the world needed. Right, but he's also a serial killer in some some senses. He didn't kill a single person. Well, <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, everybody, go read the series. Yeah. Dude. So, yeah, anyway, so Chloe looks at you again, Till, and she says, So, what now? Um, are you willing to give us passage to New Kazern? If you're not averse to cramped quarters, we don't have a lot of space, but... Oh, you're about to say averse to paying us. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she, she nods, and, and she says, No, of course not. I mean, it will only be, what, 40 hours? Something like that? <laughs> Sin system. So it should be fine. I've been in cramped quarters before. Um, a lot of people would have died today um, without you, Till. And, and all of you. Dylan, Ode, Evelyn, Fergus. Listen, I know that we had our differences about what to do with the pirates, but I, I think you made the right call there at the end, Till. I think they... That was the smartest move. That was the only move that could have been done. There are people's lives at stakes, and sometimes you have to make a decision. Their lives or your lives. Innocence or the lives of the people who are taking those innocent lives. 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 Um, <clears throat> she kind of like nods to herself. She says, Because we managed to scavenge this whole thing, there are going to be people on New Kazern that are going to be able to live because of what we did here today. Families, children. And she seems as she's going to say something else and then she just doesn't. Evelyn frowns, trying to figure out why she's bending logic to her circumstances and thinks she's a hypocrite. But doesn't mm -hmm. say anything. Yeah. Hey, uh, Fergus is thinking the same thing. <laughs> I mean, but she's just yeah, what's so good about this is like she's just being like a regular person, right? Like this is how normal people interact yep. with their environment, right? They have to justify yep. the choices that they make, um, yep. and the things that happen. But yeah, Evelyn and Fergus are mildly psycho psychopathic or sociopathic, like in some ways, I for sure, or right? Or you're smarter than everybody else. Hmm. <laughs> It depends on how you look at it. Yes, for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think, you... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I think it has less gonna... to do with overall smart and more to do with emphasis on thinking patterns, a.k.a. sociopathy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you mean. I, I think it's more logic versus emotion. Sociopathy, yeah. that, is, that is my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> But Connor, you stabbed him 32 times. <laughs> 37 times. 37 times, right? Dang it. Oh, man. Um, so, so Chloe also, I, I think it's uh, Isaac who, who brings this up, actually. Um, he's, so he's leaning against the wall, right, on the other side of the other room, and he, and he says, well, I hate to break up the, um, you know, yay, we saved the world party. Thing that's happening oh, right here, oh, but don't, don't don't say we. You you hit back there. <laughs> he lo he looks at you and then he's oh, like ignores, so ignores you. Sure. <laughs> and he says, "What are we gonna do about the pirates?" I looked at one. They sent out a distress call. That's true. A few hours ago, while the fight be... before the fight started. Wait, did you tell anyone else they... about that? Up to this point? You know, I didn't. I think yeah. I would have been keeping an eye on the sensors. Yeah. But yeah, so once you say that, that, yeah, once you say that, Isaac's is like, um, okay. I mean, we should probably leave then? There's nothing on long range sensors yet, but 
I mean, still. I suspect we'll have company soon. Well, what are we... I mean, I assume we're not just going to space those pirates, too. Right? They should be. What are your air reserves like? To the engineering officer. Because she's still around, right? What are our air reserves like? Um, I mean... Oh, you're saying just, like, leave them here? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, they should probably have enough, and she kind of, like, looks at, like, a, her tablet, right, and kind of, like, scans through the schematic data and stuff um, of the, the ship, and she's, like, looks at the levels, and she, she nods to herself, and she's like, yeah, if we left them here, and you if you, what you say is correct, and they're going to have friends come in to pick them up, that, they should be fine. I mean, I'm not sure I like the idea of pirates just going back to being pirates, but, I mean... That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> but hey, it's up She's to you guys. <laughs> and then she goes back to being an inconsequential NPC. <laughs> she fades into the background. Yeah, she fades into the proverbial background. <laughs> she, she, she got her couple of lines, and now she's never going to be an extra again in this entire show. Yeah, she, she fades into like a black outline like in Ruby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That was the first thing that I saw hmm. in Ruby. Like, the first thing that really stood out to me, and it irked me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it took a while to get over it. took a while to get over the anime aesthetic that they pushed really hard in Season 1. Mm -hmm. And then I actually watched real anime and started to appreciate the tropes they were using, and mm -hmm. it was fine, but it was like... It took a while. Anyway, Evelyn starts executing each and every one of the pirates. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, what? <laughs> Wait, actually. And Till's not a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, so is the plan just to leave them here, tied up, and then just, like, leave? What? That's worse than death. No. <laughs> Till <They> said it. <laughs> Okay, we've only said this a hundred times. They set out an uh, emergency beacon a while ago. Okay. Oh, right. I was like, what the crap are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's worse than death. <laughs> Not worse than death if it ends in death. I mean, to it's just slow so mind. <laughs> I'm tired. Not worse death. than death if it ends what in death. What sounded... It I mean, what no, I meant you're not wrong. Wrong. What you're a not wrong. quote. What a quote. No, it's true. please don't. Please don't. It's not care. wrong. I mean, technically, it is still just death. It's just a slower one, which is why exactly, it's worse. Exactly, that's why it's worse. worse. But yeah, I guess that's kind of Connor didn't what say. I, that's kind of what I meant. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Chloe, Chloe nods and she says, "That works for me. We can just let the pirates be pirates, and I'm sure they'll be picked up or." Picked up by some security officer in the in the belt here. Eventually, they didn't seem very like very competent pirates anyway. They had never been to Boston in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Mm. We are the pirates who shoot out anger. <laughs> they did that. We, we hold hostages. <laughs> And float around. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Oh, yes, no. perfect, perfect. Oh. I knew there was another line there that I was going to cinch it up. That was it. <coughs> uh, yeah. So is that is that the wrap then? We everybody loads up onto the Void's Grace and then takes off. Does Evelyn uh, linger behind and execute them? Uh, you muted. muted. Kana. Kana, you're muted. You're still muted. I see your, your mouth flapping. <laughs> <laughs> Talking so loud, I didn't even notice you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I I think what he wants to do is not um. She. Oh, okay. she's a he now. Okay. See, now now you've lost. Uh, okay. Gender's that number. Anyway. So, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, genders without numbers. Come on, guys. Um, don't assume my pronoun. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyway, so what she, I feel like she probably just asks, like, like she probably just states, like, what the crap, like, why are we not going? 
I don't understand. Because they're just going to go back to being pirates, like like she said. So is this so... before everybody, like, loads up onto the ship? Or is, like, when you're just yeah. around a few people? Or, no, this is probably, like, like right after the conversation ends. Like, right. she, she's got to figure this out. Like, she sure. doesn't understand. Yeah. And, like, it's literally the logic that we have represented in the what we have done here today has been to prevent, you know, lives from being taken. And now we're saying, oh, well, these other people's lives that we don't know about, they don't matter. And she is thoroughly dumbfounded. Does any one of the PCs have, uh, like, an initial answer to that? Did they say anything? I mean, I'm pretty sure out of character, we're hoping that whoever comes to pick them up will turn them in, right? Because we don't have time or whatever, or the, that a patrol boat will do it. Mm -hmm. But in character, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. Yeah, so, I mean, if nobody says anything of, like, the the party, I think Chloe speaks Til, up. Okay, Til's, yeah. Till's face hardens. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think Dylan says anything because she's kind of through this whole experience kind of gotten scared of Evelyn because she realized that she's not. Fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tills mauled it over. You can see his face hardens. Evelyn's right. Pirates profit from harming innocents, and what happened today, what happened to this vessel could happen again and again and again and continue happening as long as, as long as scum like them continue to live. Yeah, we literally just saw them fire into innocents for being in the way. Okay, we killed them all. all. I, I killed them all. <laughs> Every single one, that's one of them. 100%. I mean, Chloe doesn't, like, like Chloe's right next to you, and she grabs your arm. And she says, uh, Evelyn. I thought she agreed to this. What? No, she didn't. What are you talking about? She was like, well, I guess it's up to you guys. Right? No, I, just, there was no, never in the cards the at that point to officer. kill them. Can I, can I try a talk oh. roll on her? Oh, okay. Right, like it, the, the question was whether or not to bring them along or leave them here. Oh. Oh, I misunderstood that. Ah, uh, the question was never to bring them along. Well, that was what they, in their minds. I, none of these NPCs were ever thinking that we were just going to murder these people in cold blood. Maybe you guys were, but like... Hmm. I mean, that's what, it's been, that's what we've been trying to figure out what we're going to do. Oh, the blood's run hot since they spilled the first drop. Right. Oh. It's not cold at this point. <gasps> It's right. not been cold, so, and it won't be cold until we put them in our hold as prisoners. Right, and I said, so I think Chloe was the one who actually like said that out loud, right? She's like, we're not going to kill them in cold blood, right? And then you have that statement, yeah, in character. Um, and yeah, she looks at you, Till, and she says, Captain Adrian, there's a difference between doing what is necessary in the moment to save lives and murdering people because it's convenient for you. It's not convenient for Oof. us. I, I, she, she, Evelyn, Evelyn gets angry for the first time mm -hmm. in, in her in, in uh, this entire campaign. She shows emotion, and she gets angry. <laughs> and she says, All "This is not sessions. about our convenience. We, it is not convenient for me to go and kill all of these people. What, what, what? How, how did you get that in your head?" We are trying to prevent more innocent lives from being taken. Who died and made you God? I'm sorry, Evelyn, but you don't get to make those sorts of calls, all right? Well, you don't get to either. Whose ship is this? And she looks around, you're still on her ship, and she says, <laughs> oh, I This we is the SNS Karnak. Karnak. <laughs> Dang it, I thought we were on- No, we're not on Void's Which would have- Void's Grace wouldn't be, wouldn't be yours either. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's why I was going to look to Till and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's on my side. Fair. Guys. Right, but, like, Till wouldn't want the pirates on his ship at all, so this is kind of no, a conversation. No, they're not right. crossing that threshold. Yeah, that, exactly. that, that, conversation, that conversation is done. Yeah. They are either staying here or they're dying. They are right. not crossing that right. threshold. Right, and, that, and that's the thing, right? right? She she says, um, so obviously you didn't say the thing about the, the ship, right? So she um, she says... Well, no, I mean, no, I, I, but this ship isn't going to fly. 
We already yeah. established that, right? Yeah. So, so whose ship are you going to be on? Who's 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 really captain here? Last time I checked, your ship is destroyed. Evelyn. That's out of line. She she blushes. She's honestly she, she she's very confused. What? Not that way. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was I was thoroughly confused at that. I was just kind of like, huh? Yeah. So 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 Chloe looks around. and She says, "Listen, listen." As I said before, it's one thing to save lives in a moment of heat in a battle, but it's quite another to stain your own soul by looking into the eyes of a man that you are going to murder in cold blood. You're just going to point a gun in his face and pull the trigger. That's not something I want on any of our consciences today. All right, listen. We do not get to make the sorts of decisions that those pirates make. Those pirates, they make those sorts of decisions on who gets to live or die. All right, they do it all the time. We don't get to be like that. All right, we don't. We cannot be like that. And I, I know that I am not in command here. I'm not giving orders, but I'm pleading with you. Let's just leave them. All right. They're so four... you like this? Like what? So you want this to continue? This what? is what they do. I've seen it again and again. This will not stop. No. They're going to go it. straight back to this. Yes, of course. And if Why are... we killed these four, four more would take their place. You're not going to get rid of piracy by murdering four men in the other room. It's not going to happen. All right? Maybe that will give you peace of mind, but it will not end piracy. And you're kidding yourself in thinking that you're actually doing anything of significance here. The, the only thing that we can do of significance in this galaxy is save lives. Okay? Murdering people, killing them. Maybe, maybe it's not murder to you, but killing, taking lives. It's not going to... It's not going to help things, all right? That's not how we... That's not how change happens. Very we well. Do what you want. I feel like... I feel like. I mean, where... do you remember the Black Plague? A lot of good change happened after that. Nobody remembers the Black Plague. Nobody remembers the Black Plague. Nobody remembers the Black Plague. Space... The, the Space Black Plague? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Transparent the plague. Scream? Not yeah, the, the Scream. Oh, yeah, that one. Jared, it's just the Space Plague. That's all it is. Space plague, yeah. The space virus that you get yeah, from going to go. space, Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, just ignore it. Okay, so yeah, so tell you just, you just kind of in frustration say like, do whatever you want. Till storms off, he's, he's yeah. done. He's done with this conversation. Yeah. If there, if she's adamantly set, if yep. she's adamantine set on top of her high horse. That's that's oh, yeah, it. She Patel. definitely is. Like, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, she can't do anything. Fine. She has one hit point. Connor, you're free to do whatever you want. She can't I'm physically do anything to stop you. I'm going to kill all of them. I, I could take her right now, and I have two strength. So, so, um, Evelyn, she's still holding your arm, right? Like, she, she, she's not going to let you go right oh, really? away. Yeah. She, I mean, she sees in your eyes, right? Like, she's, she's not falling for this, right? She's not going to just be like, all right, well, I guess we all decided, and then leave you to, like, murder them behind her back. Right? She's like, she she looks at you, Evelyn, she says, I will be the last person off of this ship. She kind of, she looks that Till isn't there. And she kind of looks around for the chain of command, realizes it's her. <laughs> and then, and then just, wait, hold up! Dylan is older than you. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. oh, here we go. That 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 is no effect on him, psyche. That, I I don't mean that in a way of matter of factly. I mean wait. In so wait, did you Evelyn mean chain of command? That did did you mean by her? Did you mean you're in charge or Chloe's in charge? I am. Okay. Okay. Realizing that that like yeah. like not to say that that's true. I'm saying that Evelyn right in her mind. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to. Yeah, so you're like, I'll oh, take orders from this lady. Yeah. Yeah. And I say, uh, fine, then you can stay and watch. <sighs> Correct. <laughs> so is anyone else saying, I mean, Dylan, you're like really, like, literally right next to them. Like, he's, are you or Ode saying anything about this? I mean, are you going to go into the room now to kill the, because they're in the other room. Are you I'm going waiting to? for the right moment to say something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So I think I think the other like crew members just start like packing up, right? Like after what after Till left, they're just like, okay, well we don't want to be part of this awkward conversation. Let's just get on the voice grace. All right. Um, and so uh, everybody else, everybody else but you guys and Chloe are are, are left in here, unless you one of you guys goes yeah. on to the voice. Yeah. Grace. So I mean, I I Ode stands up and and stands between Evelyn the door and says, uh, I just need you to answer a question for me, Evelyn. <laughs> D demeanor like totally back to normal yeah uh says you are one of the elect and uh i'm sorry caleb you said you talked about this earlier i'm trying to remember yeah. what does the psychism say about the elect not that they can't do any wrong <laughs> yeah it's basically but... like they are um like obviously they're human so they can sin right like that's it's, okay it's not that it's basically like they're almost like apostle status, right? Where like yeah, basically they know better than we do. They know not. better than you do. They have okay. direct like revelation from God. They can translate and interpret scripture. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he says, uh, "You're one of the elect. I know you understand better than I do. So please explain to me this how this isn't murder in the way it is described in the Psychisms. That's all I need to know." You don't I, know what you, you don't know what he's talking yeah. about. I, I don't. I... Uh, do do I know what he, do I know what he's talking oh, about? You absolutely know what he's talking about. Yeah. Do oh, are the are the psychics allowed to pass judgment on other people? Like choose punishments and um, all that. What do you want to be true? Uh, I feel like that at, at least from my planet, that's definitely what they do. They determine what punishments are for heretics yeah, I mean, and all that. Probably like the civil magistrates. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Um, roll a no, no check, and if you succeed, then it's true. Uh, sweet. Roll with intelligence. So now, can I, uh, can I have a modifier because that's my home planet? Um, if you do that, then this will only apply to your home planet and not to the organized religion as a whole. Never mind. No. Also, so they are essentially a court. What my nice, yep. but uh, does that require the consultation of other psychics and like? Yeah, like it's not like stuff? one. So one psychic alone. They're not judge dread, right? Exactly, they're not judge dread. It's 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 like okay. a council of psychics has to do this thing. But right. how much is a council? We have two psychics. <laughs> um, I think it's well, they they obviously go by um, uh, by script. Two right? more witnesses. Exactly. Um. So this is this is a a extrapolation on actual bible oh yeah it's uh -huh. catholicism but psychic heavily psych it's the reason it's called psychicisms yeah because it's just <laughs> psychic diversions of i wasn't sure if we were just using those as terms to relate it to no so this this religion evolved out of christianity right okay um, oh yeah because yeah. Yeah. in the setting earth is a real thing a really long time ago so um, yeah, so maybe the thing that comes to your mind, Fergus, right, is is um, uh, Second Corinthians thirteen one, which says, "This is the third time I'm coming to you. Every charge must be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses." Um, or Matthew eighteen fifteen. Yeah, that's the one that came up first for me. Which is what? Which just says the same thing, basically. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Paul is just repeating what Jesus said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Who's repeating what the Old Testament, Deuteronomy, and Matthew yeah. said? So. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I quote that to uh to Ode. So it's not murdered because there are two or more of you. And you both agree. <laughs> pass just upon them in agreement. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Evelyn looks back and forth, dumbfounded, but doesn't show it on her face. <laughs> <laughs> um. Something yes, significant it's... happened here, but you're not sure exactly what, because mm -hmm. you I, tuned I... out the religion part. Yep, I just I've I've learned, I've learned especially when Fergus is talking to just assume he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> about so social cue, and I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So there's no um, checks in place for this. If two psychics run around in this religion, they can basically just. Pass oh course, no, man! No, of course there's there's checks. In place. Okay, can there's I make right. a no check to see if I know what they are? Uh, yeah, sure, do it. Okay, uh, do I will not do well on this at all. But, uh. Um, I don't get any modifier, right? I just get to make this because I'm part of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, whatever they say, it's it's true. Yeah. 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 So he says. Uh, he says so. If at any time the two of you decide that one of us is 
somehow violated some statute we don't understand. You could pass the same just judgment on us. And so Fergus, like you know that there are definitely like checks and balances that are in place. There, there, you technically have to be, um, like, um, okayed by any any you can you can pass like um mm -hmm. you know, like uh impromptu judgments, but they always have to like come come back to be like cleared. a bigger yeah they have to be cleared by like a bigger authority and if if you did something that like eventually comes back to someone and just like wow you definitely shouldn't have judged it that way and you murdered some people then you can get your like license revoked or whatever right like you can be like outcast <laughs> from like you can't be you can't be not be a psychic right but you can be basically yeah. like blacklisted from ever doing judgment again mm -hmm. what a, what a punishment yeah so what, what was it you said exactly david Basically, he was like, so if at any point any of us do something you don't like, you can just decide together to kill us. And I'm, I'm just giving you the chance to lie. Uh, I, I, look, I, look to, I look to Ode, and I ask, are you ever going to uh, pillage, murder, and rape tons of people? Um, that sounds really creepy coming out of a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Ode's hedging also sounds creepy. No, I'm trying to think of what the reaction is. <laughs> well... I, that's, that's a lot more extreme than what he's thinking, right? Right. Um, and yet, somehow, it's applicable. Yeah, and I think he says, um, uh, where does it specify what counts the verse? Just Did you actually say a verse there, Evelyn? It would have been Fergus, but... Fer no, oh, Fergus, you said that verse? No. The where two or more people... I oh, know, I'm asking Fergus. Fergus. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, because he, so he says... The, passage you cited it only says that it requires two of you not that there's a certain point and certain requirement for determining guilt that is am i missing something give me give me one one second it's looking up some uh looking up some some, some, some scripture <laughs> I suggest that it's finest. So Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 19.15 says, A single witness shall not suffice against a person for any crime or for any wrong in connection with any offense that he has committed. Only on the I'm evidence more of two about witnesses levels. or if three witnesses right. shall a charge be established. And so I think what ha uh, the corruption that has happened in, in this religion uh, about that passage specifically, right? It's supposed to be a witness and like you bring it to a judge and they're like the person like you can use that evidence as evidence against the person but rather they've corrupted it to be if you have two or more judges judge them right yeah. then you can just judge yeah. them on the spot right but the the question that i asked was We're talking about like degrees of sin at this point yeah when when is it like okay well, for you to be okay, like first right, I, yeah so. jared cool. that's the first where jesus talks about children yeah i'm looking that's for, that you're going for it? okay uh, right. that's not that's not the only one i was going for uh first i i say well of course, the ultimate sin is blasphemy of the, of well, of God. Yeah, the Catholics, but yeah, the blasphemy of God, and then after that is sin, uh, sins against children are worse, and, uh, and so forth, and sexual sexual sin. Right. Yeah. And uh, so you're just like listing these off on your fingers, you're like, well, there's blasphemy, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think he just nods and he says, I'm. Not sure I understand, but that's why you're the elect, I suppose. And then he just kind of sits down. And, and Dylan stands up. Yeah, he slumps down with his rifle across his thing. And he looks over at you as you stand up. Yeah, and she just says, I don't care if we have two psychics. Um, I have enough blood on my hands, and I'm not letting you kill them to drown me with more. <laughs> Well, I guess we might have to fight. <laughs> well, well, this campaign lasts a long time. Can't fight. <laughs> Fer Fergus actually stands next to Evelyn and is staring defiantly Come on. and is very afraid. <laughs> He's very afraid of standing with Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my grip gets tighter on my gun. Chloe steps away. But I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I, I kind of shift towards Evelyn and, and Fergus when I do that. Though. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not facing you when I grab the gun, right? So um, suddenly, suddenly oh, okay. through the ship plays the sort of Western standoff. Theme <laughs> <that> everybody knows. 
That's why it's Tumbleweed just flies into the air. It's high noon. It's high noon somewhere in the world. And then we all shoot each other. Except that I'm the only one with a gun, so never mind. Uh, I have Wait, a gun. Evelyn, you have a gun. <laughs> Evelyn has a gun, too. Yo. Wait, Fergus, you have a gun? Yeah, I have a pistol. Oh, what? What were you doing? <laughs> ah, get it. What do you mean? <laughs> with your one I'm hit so, point. I'm just yeah. gonna hit Evelyn than I am yeah. to, to hit any of the bad guys from more than two feet away. I'm a uh, negative one. Yeah, it's fair. Um, so, Evelyn, is there a chance here that Dylan could, like, roll a talk or something to, like, get you to stand down here? You're muted. Intimidation is a part of talk, too, in case that helps. You're still mute. I, Never mind. Go ahead. I mean, Bye. actually, yes. I feel like, but it, but it wouldn't be emotion-based. It would be, ha I would have to. You'd have to one. make a logical argument here. Yeah, I would, I, there would need to be some sort of, like, it I sounded like a why. pretty emotional standpoint. Mm -hmm. She was mean? just saying she didn't want more blood on her hands. I don't think there was. Yeah. Right. Well, exactly. That's what I, that's what I mean. Right. That doesn't convince me. That, yeah. That's just, that's just adding Twice more a logical confusion. Also, Dylan, just as a point, if you get in melee with these guys, you're going to actually instantly kill them regardless of whether or not you miss, in case that helps. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I still have a kill, guys. <laughs> You physically can't lose this fight. What is? <laughs> what are your stats? Yeah, but I don't want to kill either of them. <laughs> that would be completely be ironic. They're on a. Not... They're on a medic at all. <laughs> they're fine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you pick straight up warrior? Yep. Oh my goodness! You could. You're no. They literally can't eat. Me. It's impossible. Yeah, the problem is. Evelyn. Evelyn knows that, but she's very confident in the fact that she's seen Dylan fight now. And she knows that she doesn't have anything to worry about. That's true. <laughs> so this is all. Yeah. So maybe Dylan, you like unconsciously put your hand in your sword, but it's like it's totally for show, right? Like Evelyn and Evelyn knows it. Like she's like, yeah, you're not yeah. Gonna your sword. Like, come on, don't don't be kidding yourself. You're gonna you're gonna take innocent blood to defend guilty. Exactly. I, kind of I, I mean, we've I already mean, done I that. I mean, <laughs> well, we didn't. All the way around. We, we took guilty blood to protect innocent blood. Now we're trying to do it the other way around. What? We, yeah, we're, we're, don't worry about it. You guys are on the same page. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so there should be a role here to decide what happens because I think yeah. this is about to be a yeah. fight between psychics and warriors. And it's going to be really <laughs> can I, can I roll a <laughs> level one, no less. A role that either of us could do to convince you or... Is that out of the picture? Yeah, is there a talk roll that they could do to convince you, Dylan? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem when you I have think a I'm a little bit traumatized ground. enough. Mm -hmm. Right. So at this point, you've just got to either pass out or... Uh, so I think what happens is, uh, Till, you pick up on your long-range sensors that there uh, are several pirate ships um, coming. Oh, great. Oh, range. well, that... Because now we know they're going to get helped by pirates, which sucks. Well, no, now what we need to do is rig this whole thing to explode like a bomb and then just wait for them to get yeah, here. Yeah, so obviously Except there's still I several hours out. but like... And so we're going to kill all the pirates. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to suggest that. That's Space Dylan talking. All right. <laughs> That's true. Space Dylan and Space Antonius Spirit would have tied Dylan. it all together. Uh, exactly. Can I, can I set my comms to private to talk to Evelyn? Yeah. yeah. Are we still wearing our helmets yeah, and stuff? The whisper. We're sitting right next to each other. Yeah. I assume yeah, we took our helmets helmet. off. Right? Yeah, I'm assuming at this point you don't even have your suits on. You could put your helmet back on. It would look kind of weird. But... I, I start to walk. I start to walk away and just put my helmet on. When, I'm like Evelyn, we should rig this <laughs> to blow up and then kill all the pirates. Whisper, whisper. Evelyn's like, do you have explosives? Wait, did Till, <laughs> did Till tell us this? By the way. Yes. You did. Okay. There was just also talk of space Dylan and explosions. And... Sorry, yeah, I just didn't know if I didn't. I want didn't to actually it. specify, but that was okay. that was the assumption, I guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah, oh, I just didn't want to. You don't have demolitions stuff. Nobody does. No, there, there is not. You do not have explosives on you. You can maybe rig the ship to explode somehow, but like, yeah, it would have yeah. to be. Make Although, sure if I remember correctly, I think the only person who took. Wait, do you have fix till? Yep. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I was gonna say I know you oh, took yeah. it, but you're not gonna do it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we. Uh, it's almost 11:45. I so know, right? That's that's. I'm trying to wrap this up. So yeah. 
do we do we need a roll? Are we fighting or what? But we should we should wrap it up. I mean, I don't want to fight you, Charlie. <laughs> but but does I Evelyn don't want to want... fight you either because I don't want to kill you. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> but does Evelyn want to fight Dylan? Yeah, that matters more. Also, how smart is Evelyn? Because she you would get like a minus. You would get like a minus four penalty if you tried to shoot her right now in melee. You would not only would you get now, slaughtered, yeah. but you wouldn't hit her. Like it's almost impossible. As far as no, nope. no, you're good. So you should at least back up before you. Do. <laughs> Curtis takes not a step towards hit. the door. It's this kicking might... off. <laughs> this might not be the hill to die on. Let's well, no, pack it up, kids. Die. Probably. So, so do you, that's a, is that what you say over the comms, Till? Evelyn, guys, this is not the hill to die on. Just pack it up. Let's go. Got pirates coming in. They'll go back to their old life. We'll feel bad about it, but I don't think this is the hill to die on. I feel like, I, I, obviously, uh, Evelyn is going to obey the chain of command. Exactly, yeah. But I feel like there is a part of her that is just lost. As... For her. As till. a point of note, technically we pay Till. Right. We hired him, so he while well, he's older, he's I'd be older. flying a I'd I'd be flying a space yeah a space truck. He'd have nothing to do with his <laughs> butts if he could help it. So. so you're you're not paying him exactly. That's the thing well, is like you're all getting an equal share of like the, whatever the money is. You bought him the ship basically. Okay, all right. right? Well, basically, you, yeah, you we're not the, like what? you put the him. down payment on the ship. My my. Oh. Mine lost its jump drive, and uh, and then was, team, yeah, and then teamed up with Till, and they were like, "Hey, let's and... let's make a crew together because you can fly a ship. Right. And we need a ship." So, to if fly. anything, we're like partners more than he is our boss, yes. right? He's just older, so there is that. Well, but... he is my uncle, so. <laughs> oh, and there's that too. But I think, but... That's the thing, right? Like, <laughs> worst comes to worst, I can threaten to tell your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. I think the way I planned it out, her mom's not alive. Yeah, but... her mom. Okay, so, <laughs> worst comes to worst, I can threaten to tell your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um well, yeah. but I, a... I do think that Evelyn would still like consider Till. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel like she now has a, a, like this entire her entire relationship with Till is an illogical. No, I think it, I think it should to... be like that because Till is is legitimately the captain of the vessel, right? Like he's on right. his name is on the papers as the captain. <laughs> right. Um, and so, whether unofficially or officially, I he yes. is the leader. Yes. In my eyes. Yes. Okay. All right. That sounds fine. Uh, I, oh, yeah. Fergus looks to Evelyn <laughs> about what to do. Should Till make a roll? Or... Evelyn, Evelyn doesn't look to Fergus. He, she just walks away. <laughs> she, she doesn't. She doesn't think you need any affirmation. She just assumes that you're going to follow chain of command. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys uh, get on the void's grace, and mm -hmm. uh, you burn away. Um. So let's the last parting shot, the uh, the <laughs> aria of a woman weeping for her husband lost to pirates at sea mm -hmm. is played over and over and over again at a slightly uncomfortable volume on the wreckage of the ship mm -hmm. for the pirates to consider. <gasps> right. <laughs> oh, that's uh. awesome. Yeah, and the last thing we see, right, is like just the pirates like tied up in a in a circle, right, like uh, in this part of the ship, like listening to this incredibly mm. damning music. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's talk goals and then get out of here. Um, that was honestly incredible. Dang it. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, I, I was stressed out. <laughs> I really, really like the way. You, it's fine if you want to do proactive or retroactive goals for um for this yeah. session if you want. Um, also, yeah, again, Dylan, it was literally physically impossible for you to do that fight. I could have sat there with my truly my thumbs and you could have killed both of them easily. So, um, but yeah, I really like the way that ended up because right, we had that moment yeah. where like we knew that there was going to be a face off. There was no way that either of you were going to back down, and then the only thing yeah. that could have stopped it happened. Which means the tension is still there, and it's, right. it hasn't not gone away. But it didn't get purchased in that moment, and that's going to be awesome yeah. because it's going to come up again. And yeah, it's going to be good. I'm also really glad that didn't happen because I was like, I don't know whose side I'm on uh -huh. because 
I, I didn't want all of us to team up on Carly because that's kind of mean. And also, <laughs> I didn't want to die <laughs> again. That's true. So <laughs> I only have one HP, so I would have gone down too, um, even if you missed. But uh, so I was just like, I don't. But what's, what's really interesting about the dynamic of your four relationship, right, is that Evelyn and Fergus are obviously on each other's sides because they right. have a similar mindset on things. And, and Ode and Dylan are are really, like, similar in mindset as well, but Ode has this weird thing about psychics, right? And so, yeah. like, I think Ode and Dylan will yeah. have a chance to become really, really good friends, but that's going to be an issue, right? Um, right. Well, and I yeah. think that's why he instinctively took her side, because he, when he was fighting, he was fighting with her, and the other mm -hmm. two was sitting around. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so I think that was why he instinctively, like, because I told, I said that he faced them and gripped his gun, like he didn't pull it up, but he was ready to shoot one of the two of them. Yep. And I think and that's we why. we won't know who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I meant either of them, but whichever one she didn't instantly, re like, reduce to ash. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were, you meant like, okay, so you were no, no. going to take the yeah. side of that. Okay. Right. Um, but that's I think that was just because it was instinctive. And right. Okay, cool. Let's let's uh, talk. Yeah. Let's talk uh, goals then. Um, Evelyn, uh, what do your goals look like for this session? Did you complete any of them? I don't know. Um... Looks like your goals were achieve a full victory and make sure none of mine dies. <laughs> um, yep. Did you achieve a full victory in your eyes? I mean, I didn't kill all the... Uh... And we lost the hostage. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not a full victory. Um... <laughs> I, I, so I'm gonna give you guys. Um, uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna give you guys two XP for completing the. Um, Yay. The like the mission to level up. save the the people from the ship. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if 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 any get any, any more than that. So make sure none of mine dies. Um, what did you consider yours? It's all of the, all of the people that were on their side. So some of them died. Okay, so oh, you, just, you meant like crew too. Yeah. Alright, so Evelyn did not complete either of her well, goals. Let me think about this. I mean, so I how many like... goals do we get? Do we get two or three? You can you can have three slots. I also for goals, I, yeah. I made a I made the third goal table. I must not have I must not Yeah, it didn't update on here. Let me see. What was your third one? Um, uh, learn why everyone is so illogical. <laughs> you definitely haven't <laughs> done that. <laughs> That might be a uh, long term goal. That's a that's a, a Jeff style goal right there. Those that's are the only three goals I can think of for my character right now, though, and mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, those are the ones that make the most sense. I don't... Connor. Yeah. As somebody who's spent the past couple of years IRL figuring that out, <laughs> that's not going to be good. That's that's going that's a excellent goal to work for, but. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Unattainable. People are rational because... The thing is, figuring out why everyone else is so illogical would be proving that they have some logic. Yeah, some internal that's logic. That's literally what that would mean, right? Like, by, by proving why they're illogical, you would be giving them in some internal logic that they would... Function isn't by. it, by definition, illogical mean they defy their own internal logic? They should have. Like, isn't that maybe illogical? I mean, it defies by external logic. logic. Right, but yeah. well, I guess the it, base logic that's being logic, defined sure. is kind of the, an issue is the, in defining that. Right. But also, here, if, really you, if you thoroughly understand every, every person's <laughs> internal logic, thoroughly understand it, you could, in theory, under have a full understanding and grasp of the entire geopolitical state of the universe. <laughs> All you have to do understand where it will go in the future barring natural disaster true <laughs> because beyond natural disaster that's the only thing you wouldn't be able to foresee at that point happening to this conversation <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i'm extrapolating what's happening i have a question <laughs> i'm extrapolating <laughs> doesn't somebody have tele telepathy me yeah Ferguson. you can just ask him he'll tell you why people are crazy he can read their minds <laughs> all right uh moving on uh, yeah, so... What's your third goal, Connor? Oh, you said it. I'm yeah, right. I everybody has a lot. I don't think you completed any of those, so... Uh, um... yeah, well, I, I'm trying to figure uh, out now whether or not Evelyn actually thought those people... I mean, were. for a while I felt like you were gonna shoot one of those, uh, the captain of the other ship. I didn't feel like she was on our side in your mind very much, right? Like, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fine with giving you one XP for, for making sure that none of the players died. 
yeah. My assumption was that you meant us because yeah, we're that's, that's although at this point I'm not even sure you mean all of us. <laughs> and like, I wasn't sure because obviously when I created that goal, I was like, well, these people are ours, right? Like they're a part of my army. And then as I got closer and closer and realized what was actually going on, I mm -hmm. just yeah, that's totally fine. Myself, that makes sense. I didn't really care, so. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can take one XP for that. So you you leveled okay. up then. Yeah, because you got three. Um, and so... You only need three? Yep, three to level up. Then I have four, right? Wait, did you get one last session? Yeah. Yeah, we all got yeah, one last session. Everybody won, yeah. Oh, did I? Okay, yeah. Then mm -hmm. you got four then. Um, so, oh, Ode. Point. You had three. I did. Yeah. So my first was secure the ship. You did it. Uh, I think one XP <laughs> for that. Okay. My second was to ask Dylan about stabbing the pirate, which I did at the beginning. So mm -hmm. I'm curious about that goal because like there's, it's not really like I like wanted to yeah. pick her brain about what like why or, like, what she was feeling and why that happened because I noticed that it bothered her it bothered me mm -hmm. and I wanted to talk it out and see where that conversation led. Right. What's interesting, about, what I don't think is good about that goal is that it's it's not a thing that is like you could you can do that without literally any difficulty whatsoever because you the, the, she doesn't have to right. answer even right you just have to ask her about it and, and once you've done that you right. completely well i mean if you'd like me to change to get an answer that's fine but yes. my okay because yeah. i mean i think i think she, that's fine okay yeah because i mean i i like to be able to have narrative mm -hmm. yeah for sure. goals so if they recur roles or anything like that i don't like i don't want to not do them just because i don't have the role for them you know right yeah um, so yeah, okay. get an answer about yeah from Dylan. Yep, I think that makes sense. Yep, okay. so you can get one XP for that as well. And then answer the question: Is it okay to murder if a psychic gives you permission? I think I answered that at the end. Yep, where I was going to let them kill them because they said so. Yep. So one. Right. Is that, that well. one? I yep. Okay. I think all those are one. Because right, they only took like one session to, to do. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't exactly different. terribly involved. Okay, so question for you, Ode. Were you gonna side with Dylan because you were afraid that you were gonna lose the fight? <laughs> well, okay, so out of character, I one didn't want to all gang up on Carly because it's mean, and also oh. and two, I didn't want to die again. But in character, yeah. the justification was that when it came to adrenaline and a fight happening, she was the one I was fighting alongside, and you two were in another room. I did, you know, like I haven't fought alongside you guys very often. I, when I fight, I fight with her. So when a fight happened, I took her side. And I think if, if I'd had time to just like to mull it over and be like, all right, what am I going to do? It might turn out differently, but not in the moment. It wouldn't, it didn't. So, and I think both of you, if, I mean, you can even make rolls if you want, but I, there was visible indication that I was ready to like do something towards you guys, right? Right. So, um, Okay, cool. so I do have an in-character justification for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Till, <laughs> what are your I mean, goals? Yeah. No, I know. I just, yeah. Save the crew of the medical transport. Dun, 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 dun. Keep the kids alive. Yep. Keep the that. kids alive. That's what my wife told mm. me. <laughs> <laughs> and find a date. Find but only date. because I don't have a good <laughs> long-term goal for him yet. So... <laughs> Nice. Okay, yeah, that's like that's an awesome long term goal. Uh, okay, yeah, you can get um, yeah. So that's the thing. Save the crew. The medical transport was kind of like the the mission goal. Well, I had that too. Secure the ship. Well, secure think... the ship is a little bit different. Uh -uh. No, that was part of the mission goal. <laughs> I thought that like was if you mission gave him goal. if yeah, you gave him mission fair. goal. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna let... give either of you because well, extra I know if if this matters to you at all. Mm -hmm. I know in the other one, Adam said that was a totally accurate thing. That like when he does this okay. set of rules, he he says you can just make it do the mission, right? Like that's the thing. But it's usually, I mean, it's not an amazing XP. I mean, I only got one. Okay, part, right? yeah, that's fine. Because that, it's I'm also fine. what you're doing. Yep. So just one XP for save the crew, the medical transport. One XP for keep the kids alive, and then obviously you haven't found a date yet. Um, I mean, obviously, you don't have to do it the way Adam does it. I just thought I'd mention. No, no, that, that makes sense. I think, yeah. Okay. Hey, Till, do you want to have a lunch date? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 gross. I'm sorry, I don't think <laughs> that way. <laughs> well, completely platonic. Oh yeah, yeah platonic sure. Ones. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's what we say, so we don't get sued. Mm. You guys are gross. Mm. Hey, <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> Uh, so your, what are your goals, Fergus? Save the hostages. Well, you saved most of them, 
So I'll, I'll give you one excuse for <laughs> that. Alright. Diffuse a situation by talking it out. I firmly believe I did that until somebody jumped the gun. Yes, you did it, but then someone else refused yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Read it. Is that one? Uh, Two? yeah. That I think there's one as well. Um, it, it was. It was a. It was a ten. It was a ten sure, roll. That was a pretty intense. Like he, I didn't even think he was gonna pull that off. That might be worth more than one. It's up to you, I guess. But. Hmm. Because like the easy way was to do what we did, and it took a lot of work for him to Fair. actually convince them. And then I mean I just screwed it up anyways, but. It's up to you. I feel I just, like, I yeah, I feel like if he had, that. right, I feel like if he had managed to get them all the way to the light, to the, the, the pods, right, mm -hmm. and then done that whole thing, then I would give him two, but since it, right. it didn't go I as agree. far, right, I think I'll just give him one. Yeah. Sorry, Fergus. <laughs> You're good. Thanks for having me try to help. Oh, God. And my last one is uh, Stand By My Beliefs, which I firmly did, because I asked Till to uh, jettison them into space. Yeah. No. Yep. Do whatever. You, you ended up getting what you wanted eventually. <laughs> Yep, you can take one XP for that as well. <laughs> uh, Alright, Dylan, what are yours? Okay, so I have two on here, but I don't see a way to add my last one. Which I have, I just don't have it. So, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, you okay. have to click the little uh, pencil on the top. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Guys, I'm level three. What? <laughs> I'm really? Three. Yeah, holy crap. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Because <laughs> it wait is 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 it six XP? It's six. Wow, it is. nice. Oh, I'm at yeah, I'm at I'm at level three as well. Awesome. Oh, space high five. Woo. Sorry, Dylan. Yes, yeah, so we can do we can do levels up between now and and, and next session. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mine were confess from my remorse over my murderous actions to at least one member of the crew. Mm -hmm. You did that. Don't take another life. Yeah, yeah, you did not take another life. Yeah. yeah. And one that I didn't get the chance to do, uh, thank Ode for being the first one to console me on the ship and keep me level-headed. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, so you can take two XP for, right, the first two. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. So, so you got, I guess you get five, wait, so, I mean, you should be, you also leveled up to level three, Dylan, because... Nice. Right, you got the XP, the one XP I gave everybody last time, and then two. five XP this time, um, because nice. you, um, or no? Wait, well, because I got three no, XP. No, four. Okay, you're, you're at five XP. So. You're at five XP. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, not quite. Yeah, you have to get all three goals and yeah, the mission and the one XP last time. Yep. So the mission was two or three XP. The mission was two. two. That's because I was thinking in my mind it was three for some reason, but it wasn't. It was two. Wait, Jerry, uh, did you get all three goals? Yeah. Amen. Okay. Dude, all my saves went awesome. down to 13s and 12s. Uh, so nice. Nice. Oh, all right, because yeah, you just get to level. I hate saves. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me figure out what I got here. I've spent so much time leveling up characters because of Farverona. Yeah. But, yeah. Awesome. Well, there you go. That's Elysian Road, guys. Um, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap the stream here. And then, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, looks like we got levels up, and then so I guess one one quick thing I wanted to to mention um, to you guys um, about next. So next week won't be able to do it because um, I'll be I'll be out of town next Friday. Um, the next time we play, um, do we want to skip ahead to you guys dropping these guys off, or do you want to continue like? I'm personally right in favor continue. of doing because we've been on a ship for the last two so i'm personally in favor of planet fall but uh i think we could do a scene or two on the ship in route if we wanted okay yeah, yeah. i don't know that there's necessarily a lot to do on the ship right that's what i'm wondering right um, it's, it's, like it's probably just going to be a 40 hour cramped <laughs> less than comfortable yeah, ride so I'll, I'll just start off the the session and ask if anyone wants to talk to anyone on the ship and have a scene and we'll just do a couple couple quick scenes and then we'll we'll get to, to new chasm so that sounds good uh okay cool uh, there we go that's episode two of elysian road thanks for playing guys yeah. that was fun yeah so that was, see you next time great. Mm -hmm. also guys can i just say i roll plus six with my stun rifle before burst fire which means i can roll plus eight if i burst fire <laughs>